Well, good morning. You snuck up on me. Today is Thursday, July 16th. It's raining. It's pouring. The old man is snoring. He bumped his head when he got out of bed. I never remember the words. <laughs> anyway, um, I know it was he bumped his head in his bed. So he couldn't get up in the morning. There you go. I had to think about it for a minute. I saw a thing on Facebook about the little candy cigarettes. I remember having the candy cigarettes. My mother smoked like a fiend, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and we have to have birthdays today. Today is Heather Lito, Littell, L-I-G-H-T-L-E. Heather's birthday today, so she gets a song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Heather. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. And she gets to share her birthday, or she, this person gets to share her birthday with Heather, any way you want to look at it. Tammy Mioff 2, T-A-M-M-I-M-I-O-F 2. It's Tammy's birthday. I'm assuming your name is Tammy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tammy. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. I have a cousin. Oh, I hope you have a great day, both of you. I have a cousin named Tammy, and I always thought she was so much older than me because she just was so mature, and she was going to have a baby. And I'm thinking, you're you're old, so much older than me, but she had a baby at uh, I think she was 15, and uh, her mother had a baby at the same hospital. I think like they were two days apart, so both mother and daughter were in the hospital having a baby. So the uh, uncle to Tammy or to Tammy's little girl was born the same, like, within two days. It was kind of odd. But I always thought she was so much older. I was 13 and she was having a baby. So I'm thinking, you are old. You are mature. <laughs> Obviously, she wasn't. But uh, <clears throat> anyway. But, oh, I was going to tell you about the candy cigarettes. My mother was a fiend as far as smoking. My mother smoked three packs a day of an unfiltered cigarette called Herbert Territon. And Territon brand was the filtered version and the Herbert Territon was the unfiltered version and the Territon had the red ring around it and the Herbert Territon had the blue ring around it and I'm sure you if you're old enough you remember the commercials where I'd rather fight than switch and then they had showed somebody with a black eye <clears throat> anyway when my mother finally decided I couldn't cross the street by myself Oh, I don't know. I had to have been like seven or eight before I could finally cross the street by myself. My mother was very overprotective of me, which I think sometimes leads to some of the insecurities I had growing up because I was so overprotected. But uh, my mother waited four years before. She got married in 1946 and I was born in 1950. They told my mother she'd never have any children. My mother ended up being pregnant seven times. She ended up with six children because she lost one. But... Uh, that was a scary one when she lost the one. I remember I was, we had just moved into our new house. I was 12 and my two uncles <clears throat> and my dad, because back then you, well, we didn't have insurance for one thing. So, you know, you weren't going to call for an ambulance and they didn't have 911. So I remember my uncles and my father taking her, carrying her two with the arms or two with the legs, carrying her and putting the seats back down on the station wagon and loading her into the back of the station wagon and bringing her to the hospital. There was blood, and it was, uh, and that's when she lost the baby. But anyway, that's not the story I wanted to tell you. I was telling you about the cigarettes. Um, the uh, so my mother finally realized that I could cross the street. Well, the way my mother graduated me, I think, was because she was needed a cigarette really bad, and she had five kids at home or six kids at home, no, five other kids, and she couldn't go to the store, and she needed her cigarettes. So she told me I could cross the street, and it was. A busy street, nonetheless. It was not even just like a residential street. It was an actual busy street. But I had to go to the corner, go over one block to the traffic light, wait till the traffic light turned green, then cross the street, come back the block because the store was on the really on the corner of my street, but across the street, and uh, and buy her cigarettes. And then when I came back, I had to go. And back then they didn't ask you if you were old enough. They just sold you the cigarettes. They didn't care. And then I would go back and then go back. So she said, now make sure you get the Herbert Territon. They're going to try to give you the Territon. I don't want those. I want the Herbert Territon. You make sure you tell them you want the blue ring. So I said, okay. So I went to the store and I go in there and I told them I needed a pack of Herbert Territon. 
and they said, um, oh, is this for your dad? And I go, no, it's for my mom. Oh, your mom won't want this one. She wants the one with the red, the red band or the orange band around it. And I go, no, she said the blue band. She wants the blue band. And they go, no, I think you're mistaken because you're, she's, your mom's a lady. Ladies don't smoke those. This is the one you want. And I go, no. And they go, well, this is the one we're going to sell you because we know this is the one you want. We're going to save you a trip. And I said, oh, okay, thank you. So I bought the cigarettes, went home the long way like it was, got back home, and my mother said, those aren't the right cigarettes. I told you to get me the Herbert Territon. I told you to get me one to the blue ring. And I said, well, I told them, and they said you wanted the red ring. And she said, I don't want the red ring. I want the blue ring. Bring them back. So I go back to the store, go to the, to the counter, and I tell the guy, the clerk, I said, no, my mother wants the blue band, and she doesn't want the red band. She wants the blue band. And he said, you haven't had time to go home. You go home now. I'm not. I'm not selling you those. You just go home. You tell you, I. You know, just go home. This is not. These are the right cigarettes for your mother, because back then men decided what was right for women, right or wrong. They thought they they knew everything. So I said, she's gonna be mad at me, and he says, no, she's not. This is the one you want. You just didn't want to go all the way home because you think that you made a mistake. You didn't make a mistake. She wants these. So I said, okay. So I walked back home, walk in the door, and my mother saw the cigarettes, and she said, those are not the cigarettes. Can you not follow direction? Ah, and she's go because now she's like in a, you know, three packs a day. She needs a cigarette. So um, I said, well, you know, the, the guy won't sell them to me, you know. So he's, she says, well, just a minute, I'm going to call up to the store. So she called up to the store and talked to the guy. She says, now you go back, and he'll make sure that you always get the right cigarettes from now on. So I went back, and he said, well, I guess you were right all along. I said, yeah, I know, but she was really mad. He, so he gave me a, um, a candy bar. So I, I made out in the deal. Not so much that I got bigger as I grew older, but... Uh, so every time I went, if, I, if there was another clerk and I would ask for the, Her, the Herbert Territons, they'd say, no, she's right. That's the one she wants. So anyway, but then my mother just one day just quit. Just just quit. You know, like she did uh, mosaics. And I think she gave them up for Lent. I think she gave up cigarettes for Lent. And, uh, and I don't remember her going through a period where, you know, like you can get really nasty or something. Uh, no, my mother had like, actually handled it pretty well. And um, she quit smoking back in, when I, the year I met Jim, as a matter of fact, she quit smoking in 1967. And I think she started smoking like in 1942 or 43, I think she said. So she'd been smoking like 25 years. She'd been smoking a long time. And uh, she just up and quit. But then Jim smoked. And so she would always sit and talk with us, and, I, and later come to find out it was just because she liked smelling the smoke, like Jim does. Jim loves, because Jim quit in 2008, I think it was, 2008 or 2009, he quit smoking. And, and Jim smoked since he was nine, so Jim smoked like since 1958. Uh, Jim still has a pack of cigarettes on his, uh, I don't know that he ever want to smoke them, but uh, he has the pack of cigarettes that he stopped with sitting on his dresser, just as a reminder. But he said if he ever knew it was the end of the world and that he was going to die no matter what, he'd, he'd light up a cigarette. But when he sees somebody out and about, uh, he'll stand with them so he can inhale the excess smoke. But that's Jim. I'm, I'm glad he quit because, you know, and even him, that like back then I would always say, you know, the house stinks of smoke. And he goes, I don't smell a thing. Blah. Now he said, he admits, he said, you know, I never I never knew it. you were right. You can smell it on people's clothes. You can smell it everywhere. He said, I... I really understand what you're talking about now. But I feel a little bloated. Get to my weight. We're done with the stories. Get to my weight, which is probably the only reason you came here. Who cares about my stories? But I like sharing them. Um, maybe not so much for all of you guys, although I don't mind that you hear them. But if, when I'm gone, if my kids ever want to uh, find out a little bit more about me or just miss me, they can look and see, read my uh watch my videos and see my stories. I should write them down. I know people have told me I should write them down, but yeah, that's just not me. But I, we had the Chinese yesterday, which was just all right. You know, I think maybe if I would have had it hot, because you saw, if you didn't see it, they messed up our order. We didn't get our whole order by the time we got back. I know we just had reheated China Moon. China, that's where I went, China Moon. And uh, Chinese food. So, uh, so I'm feeling it today. I'm feeling a little bloated because we all know that, I, you know, I don't weigh myself every day because I think if I weighed myself today, I would see a gain and that might throw me off and uh, I don't want to be doing that. So I just know that uh, 
I'm feeling a little huh, today because I had uh, the Chinese yesterday. So that, I'm going to drink my water and try to get it up from that. And um, just realize that every day is a little bit different than the day before. You know, just because I ate out yesterday doesn't mean I have to go crazy today. I can eat, I can eat the right way today and uh, stay within my points. Drink a lot of water to kind of make up a little bit for the sodium gain that I probably do have. And um, just know that I can do that every once in a while. I can't do that every day. I used to eat out a lot. Jim and I, probably in a month of 31 days, probably had a carryout or some sort of going to a restaurant type of meal. At least 20 of those days. At least, if not more. And so I really, I know my food budget is a little bit higher. But in the long run, I think I'm saving money on my food intake money because uh, it costs more to eat out or to get carry out than it does to prepare a homemade meal. So I really don't mind. And I know it's a lot of supply and demand because more people are buying their own food now and um, instead of eating out. And so therefore, the, the, there's shortages of food, plus the fact that people aren't working to produce the food. And uh, so it's just like a, it's like a circle that goes around. But... You know, every day is a new day. We don't have to figure it out all at once. Uh, I've been on this plan, journey, adventure, whatever you want to call it, for almost four years. And uh, I learn a little bit more about myself every year. And I learn my triggers, and I learn what I can do and what I can't do. I know what's going to offset me. And uh, I figure it out. Life is a learning process. You learn everywhere. You know, like when you're first learning how to walk, you don't just get up and walk. You fall down a couple times. You first of all, you gotta crawl. But uh, although, if you're my son Danny, you don't crawl. Danny never crawled. Danny started walking at nine and a half months. He rolled over at like the usual time. He sat up at the usual time. He pulled himself up on the furniture at the usual time. But when he pulled himself up on the furniture, he thought, you know what, this is pretty nice. I like being upright. And he just started walking around the furniture. And then one day, he just walked across the room. <laughs> So he had this little tiny guy walking. I love seeing little tiny babies walk. I'm just fascinated. It's like little tiny. Yes, yeah, they're so cute. <laughs> they're just so cute. How can something so little be walking? It's my thought. <laughs> but anyway, um, all that in a nutshell is to tell you it's never too late to start. It's never, never, never too late to start. So if you have to start over every day, start over every day. If you have to start over at every meal, start over at every meal. There's no shame in it. There's no shame. I think the shame lies in just not giving yourself enough credit to try again. Not just give yourself enough grace to know you're human, you made a mistake. Uh, it doesn't, that doesn't define you. That's not going to be your de definition of your whole life. We've all struggled with something in our life. We've all had that first job that we had to learn, our first day of school. Uh, anything that we do, we have to learn. And the way you learn is by making mistakes and asking questions. So if you don't ask questions, you're never gonna learn. With that being said, if anybody has any questions they wanna ask me, um, please put them in the comment section down below. Um, as you can see, I pretty much don't have an edit button. I probably will answer just about any question you ask me. And uh, I'll just do a question and answer video because uh, I get to know a little bit more about you each time we do uh, you comment to me and uh, there's a lot of people new to my channel that might not know a lot of things about me and I can give, do a get to know me video or something like that. Even if you've been following me for a while, if there's something that's always been in your craw that you wanted to ask me, let me know. Well, that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, it rained off and on all day long. I never even got out to get my walk in. I was going to try to walk this afternoon and I started going out there and it started raining again. So, and um, I looked at that recipe wrong for the... Uh, Thing. I thought you had to buy, do it overnight. It just had to keep it in the freezer for a couple hours. So Jim and I had it for dessert for dinner tonight. So uh, I'm going to have that uh, cook with me video posting tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. So if you wanted to check it out and see how it was. Um, I'm not going to tell you one way or the other. Although I did offer some tips on shushing up the recipe a little bit. But uh, all in all it was pretty good. I'll, I'll give you that much. It was pretty good. But we knew that would happen. It, it, it just looked good. So, um, just going to watch a little bit of TV tonight. Maybe do a little bit of reading. I'm pretty much caught catching up on my videos. I was falling behind again. It's kind of hard in the summer because I like sitting outside and I like to read. So it's kind of hard to keep up in the summer. But in the winter I have no problems. But the summer, yeah, not so much. It's kind of hard. But anyway, 
hopefully you can stay on track. That's what my plan is. I'm um, not giving up. Not tr you know, I'm still trying. I'm going to do my best to get where I need to go. And I'm just going to remember that... Uh, I know I keep reminding myself of it, but lately I've been doing it a lot more. It, I've lost a lot of weight, but now I'm kind of slowing down. And I know it's because... I know I'm going on another rant here, but uh, I know it's because... When I was bigger, I consumed a lot of calories to stay that size. So obviously when you cut back on your eating, when you weigh so much, then the weight just kind of, not easily comes off, but it comes off a little bit faster. Uh, the closer I'm getting to where I'm supposed to be, the less calories my body actually needs to consume. But uh, for some reason, this mouth hasn't figured that out yet because I think I do consume too much in a day. I... I I don't eat as badly as I used to eat, but um, I overeat the healthy foods too. So it's it's a mindset. It's a mindset I have to overcome. But I, I know sooner or later I'll get there. I know that. And you know that too. So uh, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit that like button, and share it. And I will see you again tomorrow morning.